Good day folks, Jonathan Feist here for Drone Rush. Hanging out again at the Android Authority booth here at CES 2020 in Las Vegas. Next up, let's head over to X Dynamics and check out the new Evolve 2 drone. Now this thing's maybe a little bit pricey to fly in the backyard, but if you're a camera enthusiast and you're trying to get a nice camera in the sky, that micro four thirds with interchangeable lens, hard to fight with. Hi, welcome to X Dynamics booth. This is uh, the Evolve, and uh, it's our latest drone. We had the Evolve 1, this is the Evolve 2. We've had several improvements, uh, some of which are we enlarge the props, 13-inch uh, props now. They're also overlapping, and the rear boom is narrowed and actually works as an airfoil to help extend our flight time, which is greatly increased to 33 minutes. Uh, distance 11 kilometers um, on the drone itself standard with a micro four-thirds camera vision sensors on the front and underneath we use lidar instead of sonar uh, it's laser accuracy which is very nice also two LEDs uh, underneath for landing the drone at night or using the vision positioning system at night one thing that kind of separates ourselves from the competition or others is that we don't use a phone with our ground station. So this is something you can take out, set up fast. You're not plugging in your personal device to the drone itself. Dual screen and both are touch screen as well, 1080p. Um, all your standard features, your waypoint, your smart modes, your time lapse features, we have all those. We also have some pretty unique composition features that help filmmakers kind of guide them into some interesting compositions they might not have thought of. Um, it is geared towards the filmmaker market, but uh, it's tuned for them, but it's for use, it could be used for you know, many applications. The uh, coming in under five pounds, uh, and the materials are pretty interesting. We use carbon fiber, and underneath, this is magnesium alloy. So magnesium is great. It's uh, the strength to weight ratio from magnesium is amazing. Um, vibration dampening is greatly reduced with magnesium, which is very important and helps with the efficiency of flight time. Um, so yeah, we're uh, very uh, proud and pleased to uh, present you the Evolve 2. All right, so what we have here is our uh, quick release propellers. Um, easy to see, so these are black and they're counter uh, clockwise, and then the white stripe is counterclockwise, and you just simply twist, pull right off. They're actually metal inside here just to reinforce the strength of the props. And you'll also notice that you cannot see the windings on the motors. And we do that to help further weather protect the motors themselves. The whole drone is IP43 resistant, which means it can handle water, uh, light drizzle coming down up to like 60 degree angle, which is really nice. <clears throat> Again, you can see the streamlined design. We've improved it quite a bit from the first version. The LEDs underneath are RGB as well, and those are programmable. So if you have multiple drones uh, flying a mission, you can actually set different colors for your drones uh, so that you don't get them confused with the, uh, the partners you're working with. The gimbal is removable, and we have, uh, it comes standard with the Micro Four Thirds, but, and it also works with Olympics and Panasonic lenses. Uh, we also have a IR camera coming out that uses your standard white light uh, optics as well as IR and it overlaps them together to give you a higher resolution image or clearer image when using IR. You'll see the uh, wind ducts for its cooling system and besides micro SD it also uses a CFAST card. Uh, we're working with uh, getting the ProRes set up so we'll be uh, 422 color space uh, fairly quickly. The carbon fiber is 3 twill carbon fiber, which is, as our research has shown, the best strength to weight ratio uh, use for carbon fiber. The whole drone coming in at less than five pounds with the battery. <clears throat> the motors are incredibly powerful and the strength of one motor will actually lift the entire drone. So uh, it could lift, you know, uh, we don't put a, uh, a lifting capacity on it, it's not made for that, but um, it's definitely overbuilt in the motor department. And uh, it, you know, it's built for maneuverability, it's built for um, you know, the filmmaker in mind, and 
there's very small thresholds by which things need to operate and work in that environment, and that's kind of what we tried to do here. So this is our ground station, and as I mentioned before, we take the phone out of the equation. That's a personal device, it's got a lot of personal information on it, a lot of data that you know you don't want to share, or make sure you don't want to share. This is an autonomous solution to that. So dual screen, both touch screen. Um, of course, your standard configuration, uh, microphone, uh, auto takeoff, auto land, and return to home. We have you know your smart mode, GPS, altitude mode, both pitch and yaw. And what's interesting as well is we have a built-in uh, antenna system in the back of the ground station. But in, in addition to that, we have two ports for uh, aftermarket antenna uh, that will extend the range up to that 11 kilometers. So that is X-Dynamics Evolve 2, available for pre-order now. Uh, and they will be released uh, in April, May of this year for $36.99. Thank you so much for visiting our booth. Have a great show. And yeah, that was pretty slick. It was really neat to learn about the magnesium bottom of the drone helping, well, I mean, heat dissipation is expected, but the flexibility of the drone, that's pretty cool. And again, I say the interchangeable lens and micro four thirds, that's perfect for camera fans like me. If you are liking what you're seeing, we always appreciate that thumbs up. And if you're subscribing, why don't you consider hitting that bell icon to make sure you see what comes next. Next, you guessed it, more from the show floor of CES 2020. Thanks again all, fly safe.